Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian gamer, and this is more Homefront. In this video, I'm going to give you my review of the multiplayer in Homefront. In my previous video, I reviewed the single player, so you can go back and watch that if you want. I'll also put a link in the description to the to the video. So, multiplayer. As we su suspected, it plays a lot like a hybrid between Call of Duty and Battlefield. It's the kind of Twitch shooter where you kill quickly, you die quickly, and you kind of have to be the first one to actually uh, start the gunfight to really win, like Call of Duty. And you got the big maps, the vehicles, and somewhat of the tactics from Battlefield. So it's a nice hybrid, I, I think, and I really like the game. Um, another thing that I really love with them multiplayer is the uh, Battle Commander mode, uh, well, twist or, or uh, variation on the game type. So as you can see, I'm playing that now, and as I'm going on a streak, I get different perks uh, added to my class. So I've got constant UAV for free um, and I've also got flak jacket I believe which gives me more health and as I move on as you can see now I'm, I'm a two-star threat now so there's four people that know of me now there's six enemies that know the uh, what vicinity I'm in and they're probably trying to hunt me down and I also move faster of course as I got one more star so um, I'm not only getting uh, more perks and additions to my class, I'm also getting more points for being on a streak. But more people are going to hunt me as I do so. So I'm not going to get any more into detail to that. But I, it's a really cool variation. And if you actually kill one, uh, a guy who's on a streak, you also get more uh, points. Uh, you get bonus points just for killing uh, killing him off. So that's really awesome, and um, it's a really an awesome twist to the game because it kind of, kind of gives you an objective besides just the objective of the um, of the uh, game type. So this is ground control or domination, if you want. So not only have do we have to capture the points, but you also got the side objective of killing me since I'm on a streak and tearing your pe uh, your team up. So that's that's really awesome, and um, it, it gives kind of a um, a break in the gameplay. So if you're kind of tired of uh, just killing out the same people, well, here's a challenge. This is a player that's good and is on a streak, and he even has some perks that allow him that actually makes him better than you. So you kind of have to outsmart him to really get him. So I I really like it. Uh, the only one of the problems I have is the players. There's a lot of snipers just laying back all the f on the far edges of the map, just trying to snipe off people. And in team deathmatch, whatever that is called, uh, I guess it helps. But in ground control, you're not helping your team at all, and it just kind of annoys me that they they think that they're helping out, but they're really not, and I'm just getting a little frustrated with them. Um, another thing is, it doesn't seem to run too well on my computer. I'm having real issues keeping the frame rate up, and I've even tried to uh, adjust the graphics all the way down to very low, and I'm still barely pushing 30 frames per second, and it's really strange. I am having real trouble keeping the frame rate up, and that is kind of disappointing, you know? It's an awesome game, and it doesn't look too bad, I thought, and it's running on the Unreal Engine, which is a uh, Unreal 3, which isn't proven an old engine, which has run nicely before, so I don't get what the deal is, but, you know, it's a, m a minor gripe. The only thing is that, as it, I think it's partly because of the overlays that's on the screen, you know, these stars on the top, you know, the A, B, and C uh, markers on the screen, those seem to slow it down, and as I'm going on a streak, it usually, the FPS usually drops, so as I'm going on a streak, 
my frame rate drops below 30 a lot of times and I'm actually having problems recording and going on a streak at the same time because it lags. Uh, there's so much lag that I'm having trouble aiming correctly. So sometimes you might see me do some bad aiming. That's just because there's a lot of lag and I'm having problems aiming correctly. But um, I don't know what to say. I, I still love the multiplayer. It's really fun. It's a nice it's a nice break because, let's face it, Black Ops isn't that fun. Modern Warfare is kind of broken right now. Modern Warfare 2, that is. The first Modern Warfare is, yeah, you know, it's okay. Um, I mean, it's a great, great multiplayer, but it's not, uh, not. It's old. I don't know what to say. I, I'm not enjoying it that much. But Homefront, really loving it. I mean, uh, it's a, it's a breath of. Um, fresh air and I really love it I really love it so overall I can't say anything else that I'm really enjoying it as um, I said the only problem is the frame rate issues and some of the campers but you get campers in every game so there's nothing to do about it no, nothing to do about it I'm guessing that some of them will kind of disappear as the game goes on um, since the kids who just try it out and then leave the game uh, leave and you only got the hardcore players left and they are not as prone to camping as the, the, the in air quotes noobs are but you know so um, the game is coming to a quick end here I had a really nice match. I actually went 28 and 3. It was unbelievable. I don't know what I was doing, but for some reason, I just boom blew everyone out of the water. And I have to say, I've actually played really well in this game. Um, I've had some outrageous scores. Some of them not recorded because of the frame rate, but still, I've had some outrageous scores. Still, uh, for me at least, I mean 28 and 3. I don't do that every day, and uh, I have some other scores where I can easily go over 3, uh, 3.0 in KDR, and that's not usual by my standards. That's actually very unusual. So I'm just really surprised at how good I'm at, I am at this game. I'm not that good, I know, but still, it just surprised me. I was just like, wow, this is easy. <laughs> but still, I have my matches where I go horribly do horribly so there are others up and ups and downs well that was my review of the home front multiplayer really love it want to play some more despite the frame rate issues so that's it for now I hope to see you next time snuckies